Okay, or are you ready for a tutorial series thing? I hope this isn't too awkward. Um, yeah, I've I've noticed like since since we're doing the ASMT XBTM LMNOP thing, um, and like I noticed that there are more people than I thought that are unfamiliar with this, and I'm in no way a pro, but I know my way around. So, I guess you could say. So, I figured I'd spread my knowledge or, or something along those lines. This video will be covering the basics. I hope, uh, I, I think that this is enough of wasting everybody's time, so let's get started. Okay, so, the first thing you're going to want to do before uh, making a level uh, is go on your level settings down here. This, this little thing. Now, bring up a window way way down here. Now to make it easier on myself I usually drag it up here so I can view this level window thingy and I can move this around. Anyways, and and this at the same time. I don't know. I've noticed that if I resize this window, the editor window, to be more convenient it sometimes glitches out. So I wouldn't suggest doing that. Anyways, so there there is a few things that you'd want to do before you start designing your level. It doesn't really matter what order you do these things in, it really just matters that you do these things. So, um, oh, oh man, somebody's saying something in the IRC, it's, it's flashing. Um, but anyways, um, yes, so, uh, what I prefer to do first is, um, pick the background, so I don't know, let's just go Super Mario no, let's, let's do Bros 3. Let's, let's do the hills, because everybody likes the hills. So, yeah, you, you just click on these tabs and changes the backgrounds for you. Let's do the hills. No, let's do blocks. Blocks are, blocks are much better. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can cycle through the other games, and it gives you a bigger selection. You know, if I want to do Mario Bros, I can do underground background if I want, or I can do, uh, you know, stuff. Anyways, and you also, I, I want blocks, you can also pick the music here. So, for example, if I want Super Mario 64, you can see it says music right here. I can pick, you know, the main theme, got bob um, Battlefield, or I can do the, 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 the Star Reactor, because that's, that's always a hardcore, super death metal time. Th this'll be super fitting with this background I've chosen, so let's... Let, let's do that. Um, anyways, yeah. And then another thing that you'll want to do is see where it says Start Locations. If you click on Player 1, then you can move around your little Mario dude. And say I, say I want him to start right there. Well, I just click right there. And then his icon goes right there. And, you know, I can click over here if I want him to start. You know, I can pick wherever he starts. But I want him to start, like, right there. And then once you uh, enter the level, that's that's where you'll start. Um, and then I always, uh, you can also click on player two and put the player two start location wherever. I usually just put it like right above or beside Mario or something like that. Now, uh, the next thing that you'll be wanting to do is see where it says level boundary. Well, yes, this lets you, as I'm sure you could have guessed, set the level boundary. So if I click on right, and then uh, I you can use the arrow keys to move move this around, um, and then I just click and drag, then I can drag the level boundary. So you know if I want to extend that one, and it it goes the same for the bottom, the left, and the top. So say I want to extend the the bottom boundary. Well well there we go. But no, I want the bottom boundary to be back up here. I want to extend the top boundary though, because that's that's just super amazing. And um, so yeah, that's kind of all the things you'll really want to do before you start level design, unless you're not sure what background you want to use or you're not sure what music to use. But anyways, um, yeah. So so there's that. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I I hope this helped in some way. And um. Yeah, I'll, I'll just change these settings around a little bit to make things more fitting. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later, or, or something like that.